One thing I've learned about from Westboro Baptist Church is the emptiness of fame. Now, I'm not suggesting that fame is a bad pursuit in and of itself. I'm certainly not going to abandon that. The deal is, it just can't replace certain things. It can't be an answer for things it can't fill. You can get fame and you still can't get it all. Madonna addressed this in her song, American Life. She is one who've achieved about as high as you can get as fame goes. She has become an icon. Yet she realizes there is something more. Certainly, she enjoys aspects of fame, or so it seems at least. But fame is not the only thing. If you get it and you lack some other things, you still don't have everything. Westboro Baptist Church members are getting fame. Fame in the world's media, which they despise, which they are opposing in every breath and every step. Yet I believe there's a part of them that's empty and achy. And I see that as a metaphor for you and I as well. We can try to get these things and then if we don't get them, and if we do get them, there's still something emptiness. Again, I like to reiterate, I'm not saying fame and the pursuit of fame is inherently bad. It's not, I think, is a perfectly valid thing to get, but you have to understand what it can do and what it can't do. One article I read a long time ago suggested if you have a lot of friends on Facebook, it can be a sign of narcissism. I do recognize the narcissistic tendencies inside myself. One way I'm probably not narcissistic is the fact that I don't add millions of people on Facebook just to add them. So my page looks like I'm so popular and even famous. No, right now I only have 29 friends. I like to have people who are going to contribute something, who know me, who are connecting with me in a meaningful way. To me, otherwise, it's just pointless clutter. The p people who are on Facebook from Westboro Baptist Church, at least a couple of them, are trying to accumulate huge friends lists. It's really ironic they call them friends because supposedly where they're enemies, but they want the numbers and that makes them feel elevated. But what is the ultimate end here? Ironically, in the pursuit of getting so many friends, they get people who give them nasty comments. I don't want nasty comments on my Facebook page if I can avoid it. So that's why I'm careful with who I add.